Dolphins. Welcome to Graphic Arts with Miss Purcell and Carrie Purcell. This week's inspiration for our artwork is Senecio by Paul Clay. Can you say Senecio? Senecio. What does that mean? <laughs> the word Senecio actually means old man in Latin. Oh. So we're going to be painting a picture of an old man. Do you know what it's called when you paint a picture of a person? A portrait. That's right. We're going to be making a portrait of an old man. But this portrait is going to be made with shapes, lines, and colors only. It's not going to look realistic. It's going to look abstract. Can you tell us what we need this week? We need paper, a pencil, ruler, a circle tracer, and warm colors like orange, red, and yellow. All right, so we're gonna be coloring with crayons today and we're gonna be doing it in an unusual place to create texture. Texture is the way something looks like it feels and the painting Senecio looks like it has a bumpy texture, so we're gonna color it with crayons in a special way to achieve that bumpy texture. Ready to get started? We're going to do it outside! That's right, spoiler alert. <laughs> okay, so when we draw the portrait, the first thing we're gonna need is we're going to need a circle tracer. Try to find the biggest circle you can that will fit on your paper. And then you trace that close to the top of your paper. And this will be the head of your Senecio or old man. So if you're using a bowl, make sure that you put it big side down to trace from it at the top. Not all the way off. Right there, perfect. Trace it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the neck, the shoulders, and the face of our old man. You can use a ruler if you have it. If you don't, you can just find a straight edge. I'm gonna use the side of this book. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to draw a line at the bottom across, but we're not going all the way to the edge. We're gonna stop a little bit short. Do you see how my line doesn't go all the way to the edge of the paper? I leave a little bit of area. Ooh, these I are the shoulders. For this. Yep, so draw a line. You need room for the neck. Leave space. Good. Now we're gonna do shoulders. So right here at the end of this, I'm gonna draw a curve line down. And on this side, I draw a curve line down that way. Excellent. Next, I'm going to draw two vertical lines from the neck to the shoulders. I mean, from the head to the shoulders to create a neck. Use your ruler. The next step is we're going to draw a line straight down the middle of the face. So put your ruler right in the center. I'm gonna put my straight edge right in the center, just in the face. All right, then you're going to draw one straight line across the bottom where the mouth would be. So put your ruler at the bottom and draw a straight line across where the mouth would be. Yep. Awesome. So to make his mouth, you're going to draw a little L shape here. And then like a number seven on the top to have two rectangles on the top up here. Good. I can erase this. Okay. So now we're going to make the eyeballs. The eyeballs are a little bit tricky. You're gonna start over here. Watch me first. You're gonna make a stretched out S. So you're gonna come over and under. See how it transitions right in the middle? Good, and then go up. Great. <laughs> Okay, Gray was having some difficulty making this S line. So what I did is I drew a dot here and a dot here, and I told her to draw a rainbow line, and then I drew a dot here and a dot here and told her to do a U. So now we're gonna go back from here to here, rainbow. Stop at the line in the center, 
and then from here to here, U. Okay, and on the actual, I'm gonna make that uh, more rounded. On the actual Senecio, his eyes are not straight across from one another. That's why we did it the way that we did it. Okay, next up, we're gonna draw two circles inside his eyes. Great. We're gonna draw one curved eyebrow there. Just one. And then he has one triangle eyebrow here. So you're gonna come up and down, just like you're drawing a letter A on the top before you cross it. Great. From here, he has a line that comes from this side of the eye, straight over. And a line that comes from this side, straight over. We're gonna use our straight edge again, and we're going to draw a line that comes down right next to his neck. See his neckline? Draw another parallel line right inside there. See, right there. And then I'm going to draw a line that crosses it and comes into this a little bit. Right, so draw to like right there. And then one more that comes down right there. So then I have two rectangles. So right here, down to there. Okay. Now down here, we're going to draw a scoop line. So it looks like a letter U. So we're gonna start outside the neck and scoop at a stretched out U. Great. So like his use, shirt. It is his shirt. So we're gonna use the straight edge here on the side of this scoop to come down. Straight down. His Over here. Right there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go on the side of this scoop and go straight down. And then we're going to draw one more right there. It's a detail on his shirt. All right, excellent. So we are all done drawing. Now let's get outside and color these. Okay, I said that we were going to achieve some really neat texture. If you look at this, um, it looks like it's very bumpy because of the way I colored it. And what I did is I colored on top of cement. So you're going to take your paper outside to cement and you're going to color on top of it. Take your warm color crayons with you. So my warm colors are what, Gray? Um, orange, red, pink, and yellow. So we have orange, red, and yellow. Those are your typical warm colors. Plus we have pink and we have some browns and we have white. So I'm bringing the warm colors out and we're going to color on the cement on the pavement. ready for the big reveal? Yep. Ta-da! So as you can see, Gray chose, hold yours up, Gray chose different colors than I did, but we both chose what kinds of colors? Um, warm color. That's right, we used a warm color palette, and we colored outside on top of the pavement to give it interesting texture, so we wanted it to look like it was bumpy, and what three elements of art did we used to create this work of art? Shape, lines, and color. That's right, we use shape, line, and color. And this type of art that Paul Klein made, this is called cubism, because it's a lot of shapes together to make an abstract work of art. And again, we said Senecio is a portrait. What does portrait mean? It means a picture of someone. A picture of someone, a picture of a person, excellent. So we hope you had fun creating with us. Until next time. Bye.